Hello, my name is Adil Matiasiri and I'd like to welcome you another Boeing 737 video tutorial. Uh, in this uh, video, I'd like to talk about a simple uh, subject, but I think it's a good to know information, which is when does the FMC switch from indicated to Mach number on the climb and then on the descent, when does it uh, switch from Mach number back to indicated airspeed? As you can see now, the the target speed for the FMC is indicated and then to switch to a Mach number. So the question is when does when does it do that? And before answering that, let's just take a look at the uh, speeds indicated here. So you have three speeds indicated. You have the Mach number, which will be the actual Mach number of the airplane, which will be indicated all the time here. And then you have the actual indicated airspeed is going to be indicated here all the time again. And here you have the target speed, and that can be a Mach number or an indicated airspeed. Uh, when I ask this question to pilots, usually I get two answers, either fly level 250 or fly level 290. Uh, for some reason, those two uh, altitudes are the uh, answers that I hear most of the time. And the real answer, at least for the Boeing 737, is neither. Actually, there is no specific altitude for this switch to happen. So when does the switch happen? Uh, there is some logic behind it, and the logic that the FMC uses is simple. And it is when the indicated airspeed equals to that Mach number, then the switch happens. And how do you know that? As I said earlier, here is the actual Mach number of the airplane, regardless of the altitude. And once the actual Mach number of the airplane is 0.773, it will switch as a target to a Mach number here. And uh, we'll uh, see it shortly. So as, as you know, when the airplane climbs up in altitude, the Mach number increases and the indicated airspeed decreases and the opposite is true. When the airplane uh, descends, the Mach number will be uh, decreasing, but the indicated airspeed will be increasing. Uh, so in the climb, as I said, once the uh, indicated speed equals to the target Mach number it will do the switch and on the descent the opposite is true so it will start with the Mach number but once this Mach number equals to this target indicated airspeed the switch will happen again so as you can see now we are 0.66 and we are waiting for the airplane to accelerate to 0.773 before the switch happened and while we wait for that, uh, let me just touch on another uh, uh, another practice here that I, I think that it is not accurate, which is when ATC asks you, what's your Mach number? Let's say in a situation like this, if ATC asks us, what is your Mach number? You don't respond with the indicated airspeed. Here is, you have your Mach number, so just give him this Mach number, 0.67. Or if you were flying at uh, a Mach number target, and ATC asks, what is your indicated airspeed? Then give him the number that is indicated here. I see this many times with the pilots just responding with whatever the FMC is using, regardless of the question of ATC. So pay attention to uh, the ATC question if you're asking for a Mach number or indicated number. And then give him uh, what he needs or what she needs. Now, of course, if you are in, in cruise, then you have only uh, a Mach number, especially for high altitude. So uh, ATC will not ask you for your indicated, of course. But now, which one will you give him? You'll give him the target because the airplane will be maintaining this Mach number. And another point now, if ATC give you a speed restriction in Mach, then make sure that it is not only the target, but it is actually the actual Mach number that you are maintaining. Okay, so let me get back to the main topic here. So as you can see here, we are crossing flight level 250 and still the FMC is using an indicated airspeed as a target. Uh, let me accelerate this a little bit so uh, we save some time. So as you can see, the Mach number is increasing. Again, the FMC is waiting for this to become 0.772 and then it will do the switch. And the real airplane, the switch does not happen exactly at the same number, but very close to it. And next time you fly, just keep an eye on when does the FMC do the switch. And you'll find that there's no specific altitude, but actually when the numbers are equal.
So how do how does the FMC do this computation? It's based on the cost index used, uh, the temperature, headwind or a tailwind, and the weight of the airplane. So all these factors will be considered by the FMC to decide what is the target speed for the climb and the Mach number. So as you can see here, we have 0.772 now, and the FMC did the switch to a target uh, Mach number. So we'll let it level off and then we'll do a descent and we'll see the switch from Mach number back to indicator. Now the uh, FMC is maintaining a Mach number, but as you see, because the airplane is climbing, the indicated airspeed will uh, be decreasing with altitude. So we'll let the airplane stay fly at 360 for a while and then we'll do the descent. But in the meantime, uh, how can we uh, utilize uh, this in another way? For example, let's say that you decided to do, uh, that's 1,000 feet to level up, a level change, climb or descent. Now the uh, speed window is open. And when should you do the switch from Mach number to indicate it? Again, see, uh, use the same logic. So let's assume that we are descending. And we'll start with 0.77. Once the indicated airspeed is 273, then do the changeover. Okay? So you just do the same thing. You are just doing exactly what the FMC do. So let's go back to VNAV, FMC speed VNAV path. We are at flight level 360 now. So we'll set, let's say, flight level 200. And we'll do a descent now to see the uh, switch. Okay, so there's flight level 200. We'll do a descent now. It will go from a 0.772 target to a 0.77 again. It's going to be 0.769, almost the same thing as the initial target. And once the indicated airspeed comes to here, which is 273, it will do the switch. So this and now, executing. I'm going to uh, return back to normal simulation rate. All right, so executing. So now we are Econ Descent is active. Again, the Mach number target is 0 0.769, 0 0.77. Now the indicator speed is increasing. Once it reaches 273, it will do the switch. So again, uh, be careful if you are using level change of the Mach number because the indicator speed will be increasing and increasing so just remember that you need to do a changeover and once the speed that you want is uh, within range then go ahead and do the changeover otherwise uh, the uh, because of the Mach number the indicator speed will, will be will be very high as you descend so now we have a 265 we are waiting or the FMC is waiting for it to get to 273 and then this will go from Mach number to indicated their speed of 273. Alright, it's very slow, 270. And as you can see here, the altitude is fly level 330. And again, if you monitor the airplane, you'll see the same thing. But it's not going to be exactly when they when they equal, but when they are close. So now keep an eye here. And you see here 273, this will switch. Alright, so as you can see now, uh, the uh, target speed is an indicated airspeed. And as you can see, there is no specific altitude. Again, it depends on the two speeds here. Uh, so that's it for this video. I hope it would be of some benefit to you. It's just a good uh, good information to know. 
if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know and until uh, next time this is Abdul Mati Asiri wish you safe flying and smooth landing thank you for watching